Hey guys, it's me, Albert, Classic Wars 82, and this is the second video of the thrift store find that I uploaded maybe a couple days ago. And I uh, remember these were like a bunch of the, the big figures, like some of them are from, uh, I remember seeing these at Target. And then of course you got that Green Barrier brand from the Dollar Tree that, that for some reason I haven't, haven't seen any type of army men at the Dollar Tree besides like these kind and yeah these were in it and then there's like some random pieces of a figure i guess you could build but i don't know it's just the arms a couple of weapons artillery um it came with maybe like six of these little miniature ones and they're like a rubber material and then maybe some kinder toys that are back there somewhere and some signs but yeah, I mean, other than that, yeah, that that's the the big set here. Like like I said it on the video, and I think someone didn't comment like, "Hey, what's wrong on collecting or collecting action figures?" Well, there's nothing wrong with action figures. Like that's just not my cup of tea. But I do, I do remember having some as a child. I would play with them. Um, I do still have some. Don't get me wrong, they're they're cool. Um, collecting them. No, maybe if I'm going to put them somewhere like on a wall or like in a the shelf or something as a display. But I remember playing with them. I remember my brother had those big old giant G.I. Joes because I'm the youngest of all my brothers. I have four older brothers. And I remember they they had some bigger G.I. Joes, I think. And I remember playing with some of theirs or they passed it down to me and I played with them throughout the years. Yeah, they would break. But what caught my attention as a kid were the army men, which are these guys and i think the reason being why i was fond of these was for the fact that you could buy you could buy a bag and uh you you already had basically an army with you it would come with tanks army men some sometimes they'll come with both bad and good with the accessories and whatnot and you could create your own battle a lot of them um like I said, you get the tan green or any other type of color and then a bunch of the accessories, as you can see right here. Now, these are from various sets. And I did say a lot of them were from BMC, which you have the Japanese BMC with the Americans, um, a few British and Germans in the back. And then this set is from a, a toy set I remember seeing on eBay or on Amazon. I think it's S. SCS Direct, I could be wrong, or Sunny Days or something like that. And they'll come in a bucket set or tubes, like your modern soldiers right here. Which is pretty cool. If you think about it, look at them. Pretty cool. And then the ones back there with the tan, the blue, the green, and the red, those are from like, you can find them on AliExpress. You can find them now too on Amazon, maybe on eBay too. They come in bags or buckets and they do come with a bunch of random accessories, which is pretty cool because the accessories that I'm talking about, oh man, like check this out. Like a command center you could kind of use if you wanted to. And yeah, you have four different armies there, kind of like a modern warfare type of thing, like just go all out war if you wanted to. And then I have a few of the Timmy toys, the tan and some of the blues. Which are the the re, you know they re, remade them in different colors, which is cool with different colorways, and then a bunch of the accessories. And like I told you, uh, a bunch of accessories like buildings and and um, boxes. Some of the BMC dragon teeth, uh, sandboxes, canisters, a uh, bunch of random stuff here. And, and that wasn't only it. I mean, they did come with some other, uh, like, knockoff airfix figures. But I'm talking about ba badly made knockoffs. <laughs> Here's a handful of them. And then some of the, the tan ones you see there are from uh, some of the places from Elite Force, I believe. But, yeah. And, uh, yeah, that's, that's basically it. I mean, what I found from the thrift store, fine. I did my best in sorting them out. Seeing what you could, uh, see what you think. Yeah, that was Minnie Mouse. I just went off right now. That kind of scared me. Just had my daughter's scooter in here and it just went off. <laughs> well, anyways, so yeah, so yeah, hopefully you guys like this video. I, like I said, I, I did my best in sorting out as far as the accessories go. Um, 
bunch of sandbags, boxes, crates, um, cones and whatnot. And then, like I said, just the soldiers. The soldiers. <laughs> Yeah, please, um, yeah, uh, yeah, please comment, like, subscribe, let me know what you think about this, this set, I don't know if you have any of this, of these sets, let me know, I know BMC has been around probably for a while now, because I remember buying a set years back, I mean, I'll say my age, I'm 40, and I think when I bought my first BMC set, I must have been in my either early 20s so who knows they, i don't know if they've been longer out than that. i could be wrong but i i do remember i was in my early 20s and when i first seen them i'm like oh wow and then later on down the line i think people were not too happy with the scopes of the germans maybe because their helmets i don't know like i, I when you look at them now they could have done better on the poses and their, their helmets you know, I don't know. They just look kind of weird looking. Well, they're still good to fill in your ranks if you're building your German army. The Japanese army, oh man, they did a great job on them. American army, uh, I want to say the they have two different types. They have like the Pacific, the Pacific theater bmc army guys and then they have like uh, the, the other ones from like d-day i think the pacific theater ones i i like them they look better for some reason than the other ones i mean because i think this one's like i don't know the helmet looks weird but then you see this guy here this guy looks cool it's just like this guy right here just like wow like, is your helmet falling off? I mean, are you a conehead soldier? I don't know. Like, it's it's just crazy. But anyways, and then and then the the British guys they they came out good. The ones in the back, I only got like four of them. But yeah, but BMC they're they're still doing a good job. So, like I said, I, I'm still happy with them. Even though some people do complain about them. Okay, yeah, their helmets look weird, skulls look weird. But hey, they're good to fill in my ranks. But uh, there you have it. All these guys, well, let me know what you think. Oh, yeah, and just a quick one. So I, I did, did I, I showed you guys these before, right? I bought these uh, Krista Schultz on, if you can find her on Facebook, Krista Schultz. She's selling a bunch of uh, armament stuff you can find. She uses PayPal. Whoever had these, and then now I, I found out these are from, uh, I thought they were ASCII. But they're not. They're from um, uh, Armies in Plastic, the modern soldiers. But when I looked at these guys, they so remind me of, of the G.I. Joe Cobra's uh, bad guys. You know, the Cobra foot soldiers. And there's a bunch of them. They look cool. So there you go. These are going to be my Cobra foot soldiers. <laughs> well, I just wanted to throw that in there, guys. Well, you guys have a good one. And I'll do another video pretty soon. All right, guys. Bye.